Like any self-respecting weirdo, I recently made the pilgrimage to the holy land of... Many things. Amidst soy jacking a book off, I experienced an urban fabric that's like nothing I've experienced before. And as you might be able to tell from my shorts, it's really nice. I contribute this pleasantness and efficiency to three main factors, urban scale, public transport, and societal attitudes. Let me enlighten you. When I stepped out of the airport, there's something I immediately noticed. It's the buildings and streets. They're small and compact. Take a look at this typical Tokyo street. What do you notice? It's not too wide. The buildings come right up to the boundary. And one more thing. Did you notice? No cars. Now, freeways and car sewers do exist, but generally Japan does a good job of keeping the places for cars away from the places for humans. Street parking is rare, and when you own a car, it's your responsibility to have a place to store it. This helps streets stay narrow and decluttered, which improves safety by increasing visibility and slowing drivers, whilst also creating a room-like environment which we subconsciously like. Further, buildings can be squeezed into lots of almost any size so long as they have one meter of street frontage, creating an interesting diversity of architecture and commercial spaces. And this isn't limited to city centers either. These suburban homes adhere to the same rules. Notice the lack of useless lawn frontage. This is good urban design. Next stop. Drains. Public transport in Japan is next level. While not limited to rail, these bad boys will take you almost anywhere. Story time. I wanted to get from the city to a small onsen town. Sadly, this town was tucked away in the mountains with a small population. But then I remembered, I'm in Japan. I strolled to the local metro station, rode it to the main station, got onto a Shinkansen that was departing every few minutes, rode that to a local train, which with its single track, ferried me through the mountains to just a five minute walk from my hotel. I'm not sure you understand how insane this is, but there are inner city suburbs and even airports here in Australia that don't receive this level of coverage. In three weeks, I never set foot in a car and only once in a bus. And honestly, it's hard to find places where people want to go that isn't served by public transport. Further to this, I'm an idiot tourist and never once had to ask for help, ignoring the TISM allegations. Wayfinding is simple, abundant, and well integrated with Google Maps, for the most part. Public transport is taken seriously and people actually form their entire lives around it. It's not even a thought. Getting around the entire country is so effortless, affordable, and convenient. This is the level of service and ease that every person deserves access to. <laughs> My previous points speak to the attitudes towards urban design and transport in Japan. But expanding on this, transport is for everyone, rich and poor. If you want to live in the city, there is an abundance of apartments for you to choose from. Yes, people actually raise families in these. Is it ideal? I'm not sure, but it beats the massive variety on offer to young couples in most places. This is exactly why the most popular city on earth is still fairly affordable. Also, on the roads, most civilians don't act like they're willing to kill you and themselves for a few minutes saving. If you walk along a narrow street, the car will simply wait for a safe time to pass. Oh, and my point from before, owning and storing a car is your problem, not the burden of society. While on the train, everyone is extremely conscious of being too loud or taking up too much space. Yes, idiots and weirdos still exist, but generally Tokyo rush hour is way more tolerable than it should be. So what do we make of all this? Well, Japan isn't on its own and people always point to Amsterdam as an example of a media city that really transformed itself. Cities can be nice, public transport can be reliable and widespread, and people don't have to kill each other to get to their Walmart cashier job. Thanks Japan, I hope I can come back soon.